Okay, going back again. All right, I decided to try something. Um, I'm going to get down here and put my. Uh, I don't think it makes any difference on this machine. Some of them do. They don't like to boot on one or the other USB slot. But I'm putting. I've been using the bottom one first and the top one second. So this one's ended up being in the top slot just to see if it makes any difference I'm going to put it in the bottom which it probably won't be seen and I'm going to put my Sardu USB stick in there and I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to I'm going to hit F11 so that I can see what's available to boot to All right. Guess what? Looks like they're all available now. There's always two. Uh, the SanDisk is my USB stick. There's always two of them. One of them is the built-in Windows partition for. It's got a couple of built-in apps that I really never use. Can't delete it. I've tried. Uh, it doesn't take up but about six, 64 megabyte or less than that. But anyway. So you have to kind of guess at which one's the one that's the actual boot. One of them will just error and the other one will boot. But guess what? There's another one. USB mass storage. That's going to be the one of my uh, SD. It's going to be my SD card and the USB adapter. Now what made it do that? Just because I swapped slots. Go back into antivirus. And that's the one. Now Kepper Sky won't run. BBA Rescue is a pretty good one. But it'll just delete the files. Doesn't ask you or anything. Dr. Webb, like I said, didn't seem to be all that. I think I will look in there because I think it does have a report you can read. Well, that would. Oh, yeah. Uh, they store these reports on. They usually make a folder and put them in there on your C drive. Your, first drive on your machine whichever one it thinks is C drive and uh, you can look at your last scan uh, if it's done you know by whatever program it is this case Dr. Webb in this case uh, a lot of them do that <coughs> and it can be helpful so it's booting up the tiny little words saying Dr. Webb live disk and they do that a lot during their boot. See now it's got a little graphic boot menu there, a little green bar going up. I can probably make it show that. Nope. It either there or it goes away. Oh, it's already booted. I was gonna try to see the, the the command line of the boot, but it was quicker than I thought. <coughs> so here it is. <coughs> course me hitting escape and all that could have stopped I was waiting for it to open up the dr. Webb scanner I may have killed it oh there it is it was just taking a while okay I may have uh, let's see if I can get myself to where I can show that a little better okay uh, oh license owner a user Expiration date 01 17 18. Huh. Last virus database 5 15 16. Yeah, because it's a, you know, this is a, a live system which is uh, read only. So uh, it'll always go back to the first day you, uh, whatever day they built it, you know, not even the day you downloaded it, but the day they built it. So you got to agree to their ter terms of service. I'm having to peek around the phone. Continue. Let's see. Well, oh, I want to select objects for scanning, but I need to update it. Now there's a over here on the left. I thought I saw something that said update. Yeah, very top left one says update virus databases. Update now. 
So you definitely want to do that before you get started. Oh, my arm get my my tripod arm gets tired pretty quickly. Even though I got my elbow sitting on the chair, the arm of the chair. So uh, this is a, looks like a pretty quick one. Some of them take 10, 15, 20 minutes to download the old definitions. I don't know why. It's evidently their servers are slow. Because I do have a 60 megabit downloads and four up on my ISP with my ISP. Now watch this just take just as long, but uh, I'm just showing you. Oh, well, I guess it's showing you each file now that I pay, now that I'm paying attention. So I'll stop the video until it gets done with that.